All right. So as most of my students are talking about the Grippy Sock Hotel, I'm going to try to review this uh, Polynomials B uh, practice test. Uh, we are up to about 80 subscribers. So, you know, when we get a thousand, we get a mohawk and dye it blue. Two different shades. So, uh, hey, I'm not, I am a ninja. I'm not a ninja. Okay, so don't forget, hit the bell, hit the like, hit subscribe. All right, so first thing we need to do usually is factor by the GCF. So we can take an X out. <laughs> All right, and... Okay, so this positive tells us our signs are both the same. This tells us they're both negative. This will be a minus 5 and a 2. And that's all we have to do. Now, <laughs> what I think is kind of funny is part 1 and part 3 are very similar. Okay, and people will get part 1 correct and not part 3. Okay. That was for something else. Yeah. All right. So that was number one. By the way, if you can hear lots of noise through my little microphone for those listening at home, this is the week before spring break here. And it's a uh, it's a little off the chain. Okay. Shh. All right. So All right. This is another GCF. We can divide out a 3 and an n to the 5th. All right, now this is a dots factoring right here. Yep, we have a plus five and a minus five. Okay, so this was a GCF and this is by dots. Yeah, dots, dots is like one of my favorite too because it's very simplistic. It's like square to this, square to this, plus and minus. There we go. I don't know if all my hair falls out before we get a thousand subscribers. We might not be able to do a mohawk. We'll just have to do a paint strip. <laughs> yeah. The spray hair thing? No, Bosley is something else. Yeah, we'll just, we'll just, I'll, I'll get a decal. Yeah, I'll, I'll just get a big sticker. Or, and we could take that effort into doing good on our in-class and at-home test. All right, so on number three. Oh, Lord. I'm, I'm not, I'm not going to make it today. I'm, this is, this is, maybe I'm, I'm about to go to the Grippy Sock Hotel. Okay, so remember this side right here. Excuse me. They were calling Mr. Jeffers' class.
Good morning. He is. I sure can. Uh huh. So I love it when we're supposed to be teaching bell to bell and recording and all this stuff, and people call me. So what is underlined right here? is what you can write what this over here that's in the yellow that's how you would see it um in like act stuff like that uh other things All right, so all right. No, it's we don't we don't want a three sixty view of this classroom. We don't want a camera that's facing me and facing out. That would be bad. That would I mean that that's whole whole job just gone okay just my dad probably like it because he's like hey you can come pick up chickens okay so we'll... that's right that's right from jeffrey's farms mm -mm. all right so special factoring patterns remember i will probably have this on the board, okay. Okay, just the whole class yawned at the same time. This is awesome. All right, so the cube root of 125 is five. All right, so this would be our A, this is our B. So we follow this pattern right here. So we're gonna have X plus five. All right, then x squared all right minus a times b so 5x plus this squared so 5 squared is 25 okay and that's it that's as far as we can go we're done okay now remember you're only going to have four problems on this section tomorrow i just put a little extra just for practice this section. No, I'm not getting mad. I'm just feeling the rest of my brain seep out of my ear. Thanks. Yeah, I got, apparently I got straight teeth. Okay. Nope, no braces. Yep. All right. So that's number four. Looks like we have a few more writing stuff down. All right. Now, now also remember the completed notes is like the PDF of everything worked out will be on Schoology later. Okay. So. <laughs> Two sixteen. I think that is six. Yeah. No. Mm -mm. Six. Okay. A lot of hee hees over there. All right. So this is our A is A. That's funny. Our B is six. So if we're actually writing this. We would have a minus six, okay. A squared plus six times a, so six a plus six squared, so this would be 36, okay. Actually, it's just following the pattern. Once you once you get your A and B right here, and I, if you forget how to take the cube root on a calculator, I'll show you tomorrow and even probably help you. But 
once you get these two things, you literally just plug it into the formula. I mean, it's just, that's it. What second part? What color? All right, so I took the cube root. Oh, that's a that's not very good to write with. Okay, yeah, I took the cube root of two sixteen, which on these calculators, uh, I would hit three second the raise the roof button two sixteen and then enter. Okay, and what that does is it takes the cube root of it for me so I can find that six. Yeah. Okay. All right. Number six. So if I were to do the cube root of 27, I would actually get 3x. And the cube root of eight, oh shucks, the cube root of eight is two. All right, so this is my A, this is my B. Now this one I may have to step out a little bit more. That's going to be the easy part. All right. So I'm going to have this squared plus this times this. All I'm doing, I'm I'm having a lot to plug stuff in and use parentheses and inside parentheses. So, yeah, yeah. The now this stays the same. All right, three x squared becomes nine x squared because three times three is nine. Okay. Two times three is six. And then this is four. All right. So, you know, the the hardest part is find the cube root and plug it in. I can't remember how many of these that you have on the in-class test that looks like number six. I think you actually have more on the at-home test. Yeah, I think at this point in time last semester, I started making the at-home test harder than the in-class test. Yeah. I can't remember. Mm. All right. So that's number six. Now, of this part on part one, you're only going to have four problems. Okay. So y'all will be okie-dokie with that. Now, part two, this is our favorite part because it's the easiest one. All we do is plug stuff into the calculator. So we're going to do the opposite of minus two, which is positive two. Plug this in here to the calculator. All right, we see what we get on our calculator. We get zero. Is zero, zero? So we just circle yes. All right, and we do the opposite of minus seven, so it's positive seven. <laughs> Bless you. That's a good one, too. No. Okay. 
Okay. All right. We plug this in. We get the value of 8. Is 8 0? No. So we just circle no. I'm glad you do. <laughs> Me, it's 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 a it's a situational love. Some days, yes. Some days, not so much. And I'm not going to say what today is. It's it's Monday, so you can. Yeah. Next week. Huh? Yes, y'all have advisory today, so that's why I'm trying to go a little bit faster than normal. Okay. All right, so we get negative seven. Is negative seven zero? No. I know, but at the end. Yeah. All right. All right. So opposite of plus five, negative five. All right, plug this in. We actually, we get negative eight. Now, I know y'all may think, oh, it's going to be a pattern. It's going to be like one yes, no, 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 or yes, no, yes, no. Honestly, at one point in time, I'm just typing in numbers. I'm just, I was like asking people, hey, give me a number. And I was typing it in. Okay. So don't think very deep on some of this stuff. No, my name is Jeffries, but I appreciate it. Now, so part two, probably one of the easiest parts. Okay, all it is is just plug it in, plug in the opposite of whatever this is in here. You it type it in the calculator. Do you get zero? You just circle yes or no. Okay, that's it. Part three is like part one just with one more step okay so now we can change this to zero right here you don't have to uh now some people would change this to zero and come here there we go and they would go ahead and say oh i need to um oh this is supposed to have an x right here so that now it'll work Ah, uh, topo. <laughs> so we can actually factor out an X now that I realize I left it out to begin with. All right. I, I forgot where. I forgot to add this X right here uh, when I made it. So there's a typo. Imagine that. All right. This negative tells us our signs are different. This tells us our bigger number is negative. So the number, uh, two numbers, when you multiply, you're going to get three and four. Now, the actual answer to this is the opposite, okay? Now, what's the only thing X can be to make it be zero? Mm -hmm. What's the opposite of plus three? What's the opposite of minus four? Okay, there's our answers. 
Yeah, the the additive inverse, the opposite sign. Yeah. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. You you understand it that way. That's perfectly great. Perfect. Gotcha. All right. So that's number 11. Okay. Now you're only going to have three of these on the test. All right. Now. Number 12, we're going to change this to zero. And I can factor out a 2x squared from all of this by GCF. Now, this is actually very similar to one that we've had earlier after we factored the GCF out. It's almost like I did it on purpose. Yeah. Because, yeah, because this, we're actually solving these. Like, we're actually solving, because uh, this is basically our Y. So, we're wanting to find when Y is zero. So, because it's our actual, it's our x-intercepts, our roots, or whatever. Now, when we answer this, <clears throat> again, only thing 2x squared would be, this would be 0. And now, if you put two 1s, that's fine. If you put one 1, that's fine. Okay? It is okay. All right. So, that's twelve. Yeah, we're not doing 14. It didn't factor very good. All right. Now, 13. We could have done this by, uh, you know, factor by grouping or something. Or we could do this box method. I can if you need me to. This is factoring by the box method where you put all the terms in here. Yeah. Let's... Thanks, everybody. All right. So, and this is a X. This is a, uh, 933. Yes. Now. All right, that is by the box method. Now, if you factor by grouping, it's basically the same thing. I'm just taking the GCFs of these groups. Uh, some people like it, some people don't. Yeah, some people's, some people's thought processes don't. Do great with that. All right. We get the same thing either way. Now, we have to take this and set it equal to zero. So it doesn't matter which way you do it. So the easiest part is going to be this minus two. We know that we're going to have, well, what's the opposite of minus two? Well, positive two. Huh? 
the red is done by the box method. The blue is done by a uh, factor by grouping. It's exactly the same thing. Yeah, two ways. All right. If I were to take this x squared minus 16, there's two ways I could solve that. You could factor this out as x plus 4, x minus 4. Or you could actually set it up and solve uh, like a um, regular equation and take the square root. You're going to get the same thing. Okay. So, no, potato, potato on that. There are two methods. You don't have to do both methods. I know I showed that one time on something and everybody was trying to do both methods. Not, not very fun. Okay. All right. I kind of like the box method now that I see it because it, to me it just kind of like organizes a little bit. But I know there are some people that are factor by grouping people and you, that's how you work. That's how you operate. By all means, do it. Okay. I'm not going to love you any less if you prefer factor by grouping over the box method. I could, but I'm not. Because that would be wrong. Ouch. I think I just cut my nose open. Stand by for bleeding. All right. So, number 14, bad problem. Don't worry about it. Okay. So, this stuff right here, it seems kind of odd, but a lot of people have actually been understanding it pretty quick <clears throat> the y-intercept goes here the opposite of these numbers go here okay well five times one times negative two is negative ten a if we were to divide by negative ten a equals negative 1. So when we're writing this, and I went ahead and put the f of x there so y'all don't have to do that. We have done these before. Hmm. Huh? Yeah, we have already done this. We had a whole day of it, and we did, um, like, um, with graphs. All right. So that's number 15. Okay, now here's what's funny. This part right here is worth four points. Just plugging them in. Solving it is worth two. Writing the thing is worth four. Okay, so this is 10 points, 10 easy points for this problem. Okay. <clears throat> in blue I was just saying the point values for each of these okay I don't know if that was a stretch or somebody is having an exorcism in class now so number 16 Mm hmm. Y goes right here. Huh? One's positive, one's negative. 
so we do the opposite of this. It's the 12 is a y intercept. The these are the x intercepts. Yeah. All right. So 4 times 4 is 16. So this is going to be 48. Mm -hmm. So we actually get one fourth equals a, or a equals one fourth, and then we just plug it back in here. Okay. Yeah, it's the opposite. Oh, my bad. Sorry. There you go. More happy? Okay, more happy. All right. So, this section, 20 points. Very easy 20 points. Okay. Very easy 20 points. You good? Mm. All right. Now, for the last two, this is using those finite differences. Okay. Remember, we start from the right and go left. Okay. So, 63 minus 41. 41 minus 25. 25 minus 14. 11. 7. 4. 2. Alright, so we do it again. This is 6. 5. 4. 3. 2. 1. One, one. All right. So because we had to do the subtraction three times, this is of the third degree. Okay. And then you would use one of those online calculators that I showed y'all last week to actually plug it in. Get the equation. Okay. So you get four points each, and this, you know, this is an easy eight points also. What's funny is part four and part five together is, I think, is worth more points than the first part. Uh, well, on the front part, I, there's usually a lot of partial uh, credit on those first four problems because people make some minor mistakes. Uh, both. It depends on how strategic you want to be to take the in-class test more to avoid an at-home test. All right. Or what you want to do just in, in class so you don't have to do a whole lot of it at home. Nine, eight, seven, six, five. One, 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 one. All right, so this is of the second degree. All right, so that's our little review for our polynomial B practice test. Um, remember, hit subscribe, hit the like, hit the bell. Good stuff, good things. Roll Tide.